So I'm here at the local Toys R Us. Yes, Toys R Us is still operating in Asia. All you international fans, take a flight over if you still miss the giraffe. So Transformers Cyberverse is now in stores. Most of the stuff is still piggybacking the classic G1 influences and that's actually a great thing. Bumblebee here looks like they stuffed the whole apartment on his back. Car mode is good, still post 2007 movie sports Camaro style but the robot could use more streamlining. Right now he looks like he's going to battle carrying a building. Who's next? Uh, everyone's favorite reliable Decepticon Starscream and wow the Screamer looks jacked up. Those attachments look like an entire 747 jet strapped to his shoulders. Robot mode is not bad. The jet mode looks super weaponized though, like he's about to take on Unicron. Okay, we also have Grimlock. I guess you can't do a new product launch without Bumblebee, Starscream and Grimlock. But how about making Blitzwing and Astro Train the go-to robots for every wave as well? I love those guys. Robot mod here on Grimlock has quite a bit of overloaded plastic, I think, but the T-Rex mode is pretty nice. A small army of Ripper Snappers, G1 style, and hey, this X, Power Masters, Dreadwing, and Blackwing. Now, Power Primes? These actually combine to form one super robot or super jet, but nothing on the packaging mentions that. How come, Hasbro? Cyndasaur, based off the classic G1 Sparkacon, now looking like a raptor of sorts with no spark shooting action. Next to him here, we find Outback. He's still got his classic G1 colors, but the vehicle mode looks like a military war machine. So out of these three, I would say that Beachcomber probably looks the closest to his original G1 mode. I actually like this quite a lot. Okay, so Transformers have now invaded Mighty Max. The new Max have different rotating facial expressions. These are a lot of fun and have more play value than your average Funko Pop. So Optimus looks really nice in his classic mode, but hmm, he does look pretty weird with actual lips. I guess it would be harder to change his expressions otherwise. But how about just narrowing his eyes in anger? Bumblebee being cheeky, up your Starscream, and here he looks like Shockwave just blasted him. And this is his smirking look. Come and get me, cons. Megatron in screaming mode, crush the Autobots! But here he looks like he gets crushed instead. Now this is my favorite expression. He's looking really calm and wise and saying things like peace through tyranny. Oh, don't these guys look cute? But hey, stop calling them weird names like Micronus and Alchemist Alpha. These guys are supposed to be the Submarauder, Landmine and Skullgrin. More of the Cyberverse, and here's some of the mega-sized robots. This right here is the Megatron you wished you had as a kid. I'm really digging the sculpt and bulky size, but hey, you can forget about Megatron ever turning into a hand cannon again. It's strictly jets and tanks and maybe a Mack truck. Optimus is another standout, but hey, for a $30 something figure, I wish that these actually had electronics, just like when they used to. Think about it, how cool would it be for the Matrix to actually light up? So hey, tell me what Transformers are up at your local toy store. Catch you guys again later.